Well, hi everyone. How are you, you guys? Good morning or afternoon. I don't know where you're at, but I am Denise. I am in Cleveland, Ohio, waking up on this chilly, but not too bad morning. So if you're watching me live, welcome. And if you're watching recorded, I don't know what time it is, right? So I am Denise from Artist at Heart, and I want to share with you today a few of my favorite Christmas crafts and products. So I have a bunch of stuff here today. I'm doing these really cool Christmas cone crafts. So I wanted to share with you some fun, simple things you guys can do with your friends, your family. You guys can do it for yourself for decorations and they make great gifts too. So the first thing I'm, and if you guys are not on Amazon with me, come on over artistyheart.live. That way you can see all the products and I'll just be checking my phone to be able to comment with you. If you guys are with me, on Amazon. I'll try to do um, both. So I'm streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and Amazon and sharing with you some Christmas crafts. Oh, I forgot to do my Christmas lights on. Wait, hold on. I got to turn my Christmas lights on. Oh boy. Now I'm going to make a bunch of noise. All right, hold on. Let me see. I knew I was missing something. Give me a second. Oh, it looks a little bit better when the lights are on. And I like to stream in different places in my house, right? So this is my messy studio. So I can show you guys, let's see, some stuff. All right. I'm, and when I'm on Amazon, if you guys are on Amazon with me, I can feature what I'm using in the car, in the carousel below. You guys can see what I'm highlighting. I'm going to move this other glue. So I have a bunch of different glues today just to kind of show you what really works. This is a glue that really works. So you guys, this is called um, Gem Tack. So it's for heavier products, right? So like gems, or I do a lot of beach glass projects. I should have brought them up here. You know what, I'm gonna go live again today and um, do a beach glass Christmas project. Okay, it's really fun. But when you're doing projects like that, you have to use a heavier, more durable glue so that it doesn't fall off. So here's my Christmas cone craft. I'm still working on it. Okay, this is one. It's really fine, uh, fun. It's real. I need more coffee, you guys. I'm not awake yet. So this is a really fun, pretty project to do with your friends, with your family, or by yourself. So I find it just really relaxing to listen to some music and glue these on. This is more, again, of like a mindful activity. Um, it does take a while, so you can get a smaller cone. I like to do a variety of cone sizes so that, you know, you can stagger them around the house. They make, again, really pretty uh, presents. And I just want to show you guys. So, again, it comes in a bottle like this. All right, and it's got a nice tip. Now, I have been using it, you guys, without issue. So this is plenty to do several crafts. And it, it is white. It comes out white. I'm going to show you. So it comes out white. Okay. Let me get rid of this banner because it's distracting me. Hold on one second. I always forget to shut it off. All right. So it is a thick white consistency. So it won't drip but it will dry clear. So can you see right here is from when I was doing it yesterday. So it's dried clear, but when you put it on, it is white, but I do not have to worry about like bumping into my little other jewels and it is really durable. So these stones are really on there. Okay. So it's really nice. You don't have to worry about them falling off. That's really what I love. So if you were going to use a different kind of glue, you have to really make sure it's heavy duty. No fumes. That's really important to me too. So I really, um, I have, you know, I'm really sensitive. So I have a lot of concern about my lungs. So there's no smell. And again, I do a lot of craft parties with large groups of people. I'm doing a beach glass one on Friday. We're doing wreaths and trees with beach glass. So we have to use a heavy duty glue and we're gonna have a lot of people in an office. It's an office party. So we're gonna have a lot of people. Actually, I have 20 people. So I'll have 20 bottles of this product and everybody's gonna have their own bottle so that they can craft together. And it's gotta be something that um, doesn't smell, right? Because 
Thanks, Ola, for following me. <laughs> so you just want to make sure that you use a glue that's, you know, that's okay. So again, it's nice and thick and it doesn't drip. So what I just like to do little sections at a time. And again, it does challenge your fine motor skills, but it's really fun. And again, if you want to do it with your friends, your family, your kids, and I'm just putting those on there one bead at a time, right? You can use, so I'm using stones. These are gemstones. Those are also in the cart. If you are on Amazon with me, artistatheart.live. If you're watching me on Amazon, you will see all the products that you can use. I put a variety on there. This is just one I think is really fun and sparkly for the holidays. You can cover your cone in Christmas um, wrapping paper. You can do a collage. You can use fabric. Buffalo uh, print is really popular right now. So right now I'm just using these gemstones, you see, and I'm just putting them on there. Sometimes I have a little gap, but this glue, see it's wet and it, they, they're still staying on there. So it makes it really easy to craft. And this, you guys, again, it does take time. So this is not a project where you're going to rush through it. This is something that's relaxing Again, you could be with your friends, your family, by yourself. You could be listening to music or watching TV and crafting at the same time. I find it really relaxing. Uh, and, you know, you could do, you don't have to do all the different colors. I think they're really, I love color. So I think the different colors are really fun. I have um, also a bunch of silver and gold. I'm going to show you the, the other products that I bought because I have a bunch of cones, so I'm going to make a bunch of different ones. And again, I'm not worried about the white glue showing because it dries transparent. Okay, so this glue is really, really good. It's called Gem Tack, and it's really good for gluing. What does it say on here? Bonds, rhinestones, crystals, sequins, and more fabric. So you can use this for everything. I'm going to show you just, again, I'm, right now I'm just... So I love the fact that it's not dripping. I'm not using hot glue. So that way I can, um, I could use hot glue, but I could do it with kids. So I'm a certified art teacher. So this is great, again, for kids. You could have several bottles going at one time. When I do paint parties with customers, I try not to use hot glue because I don't want anyone to get burnt. So again, this is, and it's fine on your fingers. It doesn't smell. It doesn't ruin your fingernail polish. So again, it's a nice thick glue that dries transparent and it holds all your stones in place. And this is the side that's dry already and they're not coming off you guys. So this is sequins would do the same thing. These are gemstones. And again, you guys could, you know, pick just the colors that you like. You could do all silver or all gold. You could do a green stone tree. I'm going to show you again, a couple of different ideas. Okay. What else do I have here? So I just got this stuff. So I haven't, I was debating whether or not to go live because I'm still waiting for another package of all my crafts that I got. I'm excited um, to be doing this. You guys, I'm going to be on New Day Cleveland. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. So New Day Cleveland, that's an easel that I just stood on. <laughs> so I'm on New Day Cleveland, which is a show, uh, a local TV show. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. And next week, next Wednesday, I will be on there crafting cones. And so I'm creating all these cones um, prior to the show so I can have them as examples. And then I'll do a little crafting as well. So I have to experiment. So I just got some of the stuff yesterday. So again, these are um, these are really pretty roping. And I have them. I should highlight them in my cart. Hold on, let me look. So again, I have, if you guys are on Amazon with me, that's why when you see me play with my phone, I am, oh, here's the gold. So I have gold and green. I'll start with the gold. So I can highlight it so you guys can see if you're on Amazon, artistedheart.live. I'll start with the gold one. So I just got this yesterday, so I haven't done the craft with it yet, but these are the different things that I'm going to do. I'm going to do buttons. I'm going to do rope. I'm going to do wrapping paper. You can use napkins. I'm just telling you all the different ways you can decorate the cone, right? And you could, I, so these are paper mache cones, but you could make your own cone out of poster board. I just wanted mine more sturdy and stable. But again, you can easily, you can Google how to make a cone out of poster board. But again, 
I have to tell you guys, when I pack up my Christmas stuff, sometimes it ends up broken because I don't pack it great. And I don't want that to happen. I've put so much time and energy into making these that I want them to stay good. So one, that's why I use a really, really durable stone. And two, I use a durable foundation. So the, the base is nice and strong as well. And I'm going to get my scissors here. Cut the roping open. So I just got this yesterday and I have more coming later. So I'll probably go live again later. Look at how pretty this is. So I was thinking you could do a whole cone and you could even do it like maybe I... I wrap it on top of this as like tinsel, right? Like maybe I put a strand, we could, we could try it. Let's see where the end is. Here's the end. Okay, the end's got a little pin in it, so be careful. I'm, I'm unwrapping it, I just got it. So I don't know about you guys, but I love crafts. And then be careful when you take the pin out that you don't step on it, right? You wanna put it somewhere like the garbage or save it if you have a, I'm gonna show you the green one in a bit. But again, I'm thinking of different ways to do my tree. So I could, you know, after I add my gemstones, maybe I twine it around here on top of it. Can you guys see that? Oh. So maybe I put it on there like that and then rope it around. I'm not ready to glue it yet. Something like that. What do you think? Oops, there goes my roll. What? It just ran away from me. Right? That would be pretty. So I'm layering it. So the base would be the gemstones. And then I layer the rope on top of it. I'm just giving you guys different ideas. And what I, oh, I also got, it's in my cart if you guys are watching on Amazon. So I also got stars. So these are little wooden stars. They're natural color. And you could always glue the star on the top. That would be really cute, wouldn't it? Let's, let's give it a try. Now this one, I don't know. I'm, I might use hot glue for this one, but let's give it a whirl and see. So I put a little dot. Now this one I might have to hold for a minute. Again, it's super, the glue is super thick, but because the tip is so narrow, I might have to hold it on there or I might have to use my hot glue gun. Let's see. It's so cute. And the stars that I have are different sizes. Okay, it's not going to hold. So I'm going to do that um, later when I come on live again. <laughs> see, we're just experimenting. That's what it's about, right? We're not going for perfection here. This is fun art, you guys, not fine art, okay? So we're crafting. We're learning as we go. I love to, like, experiment as soon as I get the stuff. Now, what I wanted to show you was we could also not just keep adding layers and embellishing the tree. You could also do an entire tree out of the roping. Let me show you. So, and again, I would do a, maybe a different color, but if you want it, you could do gold. See, the gold is so close to the cardboard color. I want, again, I'm just giving you ideas. And then instead of making it like tinsel, you could wrap the whole thing up. I'm not gluing it yet because I'm not sure how I want to do it. I'm just thinking of different ideas before I make it permanent. So this is really pretty. And you know, you guys can use yarn, right? You could use, if you have like an old piece of fabric that is sentimental to you, right? Maybe something of your grandmother's that you wouldn't mind like cutting up and shellacking. You could do it to make it more personal. So you guys just got to think about different ways you could do crafts. And, you know, like I could even add some of my grandma's little, I have like a few of her jewels from a broken necklace. Not that it costs a lot of money, but I could even add that. Hey, Alice. Thanks for saying hi, you guys. Sorry I didn't see it right away. I try not to stare at my phone too much. Um, thanks, you guys, for saying hi and chatting with me. I appreciate it. 
And thanks for watching and following because you can follow somewhere. The button is follow. So I'm Denise. I'm a certified art teacher. I have been, well, I taught art in Cleveland for over 20 years. And now I have my own business where I do paint parties and craft parties. I do a lot of corporate events. So I have a Christmas party with a business on Friday at their office and I'm going to be crafting. Um, I'm going to be doing beach glass. So again, I'm going to come on later and do a nice beach glass project with you guys. So using my favorite products. So right now, I just wanted to share with you guys some of these Christmas cones and all the different products that you can use to create, you know, your cone. So now I want to show you the green. So I just got, again, the green. I just got this one yesterday too. I'm waiting for another Amazon package to come. So I haven't, I haven't used the green one yet, but I'm just thinking of different ways we can create these cones. So think of different things. If you guys can think of something that I haven't said, let me know comment in the chat. So I'm thinking I'll do buttons. I'm going to do sequins. I'm going to do gemstones. Uh, I am going to do some roping. So this is called twisted cord. Okay. Got to find, find the end of it. Take the pin out carefully so I don't prick myself. Actually, I always have my shoes on. I have my shoes on right now because I don't trust myself. <laughs> I drop stuff all the time, you guys, like pins and nails. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hate to tell you I'm a bull in a china shop, but it's true. Like, I can't even find the end of this. Give me a minute. I should have done it before I came on. But I want it. This is, this is what open box is, right? This is what it's all about. So I could pull. Here it is. Okay, look at that right there. So, again, I can take this and I would, I would start it. You can start at the top. It's going to be hard for me to demonstrate at the top. So I'm going to start at the bottom. And again, you could cover this twisted cord and you would glue it, of course, one strand at a time, you know, around and around and around. But I just want to demonstrate right now different ways you guys can do this. Then you would just keep pushing it together. You could use tinsel. You could use glitter. So I'm not a fan of loose glitter, even though it's super pretty. But I wear contacts. See that? And you would push it together all the way down. And have you ever gotten glitter in your eye? It's not fun. So I don't use loose glitter anymore. I use, uh, I'm going to show you that too super pretty stuff. But anyway, there's, you, you're getting the idea. So I'm going to glue it later. Again, I just wanted to show you guys some ideas. Let me show you a glue that has, I guess I'm talking a lot about glues today because I really never thought about it. I just know a lot about glue because I've used a hundred different kinds or more. Mostly again, because I, so I'm a certified art teacher and I have to use non-toxic products and I have to use products that don't smell. I have a lot of allergies. So I really, um, oh, I forgot my Mosh Posh. Hold on, let me keep looking. How did I forget that? So I have a, so I have a cart where I feature everything. We could talk about it later. Oh, here it is. All right. Well, I have the one without the glitter, but I'll show you. I'll talk to you guys about the one with the glitter, too. So that you guys, this is a glue, non-toxic. OK, and they make so many different types of Mod Podge. So this one is matte, which means it's not shiny and it can seal your product as well. So if you want a nice seal on it, you can coat the whole project with this. This is great for collages and shellacking anything. The Mosh Podge, this is called Sparkle Mosh Podge, which I forgot to put in my cart, but I'll just tell you guys, the glitter is built into the glue. The glue is just your white typical glue, okay, like that. And you would use a paintbrush or one of those sponge paints but it dries clear and sparkly. So if you get the matte, it's not going to shine and it's going to be clear. It's like a shellac. Great. So I could paint the Mod Podge all over the coin, the 
the cone. Okay, so you guys know I need more coffee. So I could paint the Mod Podge all over the cone and then add my product to it as well. So it depends on what you're doing. So if I want to use, you can cover your cone with wrapping paper. You can use little patches of fabric and make the whole cone patchwork. Again, you can use whatever you want. So I would use Mod Podge if I'm going to create like a, um, like a, uh, collage, right? So I did a lot of collaging at Thanksgiving with napkins. So if you guys find like your favorite napkins, maybe it says season's greetings or peace on earth or something like that. And you can cover your whole cone with that napkin or wrapping paper and then shellac it with Maj Paj. You can use the plane or you can use the glitter. And again, when you do it, you would lay add a layer on the cone or whatever it is you're shellacking. And then you would paint it on top as well. So you're layering it. Uh, Alice wants to know if I've made my cookies yet. N no, Alice, but I sure have eaten them. <laughs> Alice, I am not a baker. Okay. So you guys, I'm a little bit messy. No, I'm very messy. And I'm looking for my next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about. I'm a messy artist. Okay. I love to paint. Painting is my passion. I do love to craft too. But again, I'm not that neat. When I cook, which I love to cook, but I am not a great baker. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep crafting while I'm talking. How's that? Man, I like to talk. Okay. Let me go back to my glue. Because again, I, you know, one day I'm just going to do a whole show on glue. How about that? So, but glue and cookies, right? They, so I love to eat cookies. Here's why I'm not a baker. You have to be so precise. Okay. When I cook, if I'm making sauce, okay, my grandma was Italian and it was, you didn't measure, right? You threw a handful of salt in, you threw, um, you know, a pinch of this and a dash of that. There was not a, an exact recipe. So that's kind of how I learned to cook from my grandma. And with baking, it has to be so precise. And if you don't get to that oven on time, then the stuff is burnt. I'm not a good baker. I guess if I wanted to be, but my favorite uh, cookies are those like little butterball, white powdered sugar wedding cookies, or they're called Russian tea biscuits too. Those are my absolute favorite. I have never made them. The most I've ever made is like, whole house cookie, right? And, and I end up eating half the dough before I even bake it. So right now I'm using this, it's called gem tap craft glue. So it's thick and white. It doesn't drip. And I'm just putting it, I'm almost done with this cone. Okay. I'm putting the glue wherever I want it. It does, it will dry clear. It dries shiny. Okay. And clear. So if I miss a spot or if I bump into one of my gemstones, it's okay because it's going to dry clear, which is what I like, okay? And I'm doing a party on Friday, and I'm going to have 20 guests. They're all going to have their own bottle. It doesn't smell, so I don't have to worry about ventilation. They're all, you know, it's a Christmas party, so they're all going to be drinking and eating, and I don't want to use a stinky glue that's going to you know, smell up the room. So this is perfect. Again, it's, and it works great. So you guys, I, I've been crafting this and it doesn't spill. Okay. So I haven't gotten to the bottom yet. It's about half full, but if I need to, I can take the lid off and put a paintbrush in to get to the bottom of it. Or if you don't have like strong hands, you can always, cause it is a, you know, a thicker glue to squeeze out. You can always apply it with a paintbrush. Not a big deal. So I'm using these gemstones. So again, this glue is thick. It holds them in place. Does it dry quickly? Uh, boy, that's a good question. Because, well, let's just see. Actually, I put a little patch on before it's already dry. Maybe, I mean, I put it on and it sticks immediately, right? So that was Alice is chatting with me. Does it dry quickly? I didn't, because I've been so into this project, I don't really know how long it takes to dry, but it doesn't, like people, you could still carry that around wet, but it, it was drying pretty quickly. It doesn't drip, right? And I'm really not worried about the dry time, but I did, when I first started, so I started this class today at 10, 
and the little patch that I did earlier is already dry. So yeah, I guess I would say it dries pretty quick. Not like hot glue. It's not drying like instantly like hot glue. But again, I like it more than hot glue because I have more time to work with it. Hot glue dries so quick. This is just not a project I want to use hot glue. Now maybe the star on the top, I could hot glue. But these little stones, this works great. Again, this is a vertical, uh, a vertical project, right? So the cone is up. So I don't, the glue, I just want to make sure the glue is not dripping, that I have enough time to work with it. That's why I love this glue so much. So it's a nice thick glue and it doesn't smell and it's washable, right? So these are all important things. It doesn't ru ruin my fingernails and it makes, and it's the most important thing is that it's strong. Look at this. But this, again, this is, this craft is you know, one where you're just, it's for relaxing and practicing mindfulness, using your favorite colors. You don't have to use all these different colors. I thought this would be fun to use all the different colors. And see, again, you can see the glue dries clear. But you can pick out your favorite colors. I just like them all. And there's different sizes too. And you could always, you guys, you could always do a smaller cone as well. And I just work on this, you know, whenever I have a little bit of time or I just want to relax, it does help me when I'm stressed out. Just to, when I craft it, it relaxes me. So this is really, again, a project for all ages. I say all ages and abilities. So if you struggle with fine motor skills, maybe you get a smaller cone or bigger gemstones. Or maybe, again, you should do a shellac and you use, you know, cut paper or uh, wrapping paper or patchwork. You could do patches. But if you have, you know, maybe even one of your child's favorite shirts and they outgrew it and you don't want, maybe I hate to tell you, you can cut it up into little patches and you can add it, right? You can cut it and maybe make one for each one of your kids with their favorite color. I'm just thinking of things you could do. Again, if you have like a favorite shirt of theirs, you can cut it up and make patches and then glue it to a tree or make one for each person in your family. And then you would have, again... But so I'm almost done, you guys. See that? I have that much left. So it does dry pretty quick. And I'm not even worried about the dry time. The, the most important thing to me is them sticking, right? And not, I don't want smelly glue. So this is really, really strong and durable. That's, the most, and I, you know, I want to do a pretty, uh, a nice, cute craft. Give the gift of creativity. If you guys are looking for fun, creative gifts, putting together a nice, a nice craft basket's always fun. I also do, I should put this on too. I also do, um, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Here, my website, artsofheart.org. I also do um, online art and craft classes. So you can give a gift certificate. So they're virtual online classes. I also do in-person stuff. So I'm doing these crafts in person around the Cleveland, Ohio area. That's where I'm at. And then I do online stuff all the time. I have over 200 art videos doing arts and crafts. So you guys can check out my website. All right. And if you want to know my story about how I ended up on Amazon, I'll tell you real quick while I'm crafting this. I was a Cleveland art teacher and then I started my own business in 2015. So I would go to the local restaurants and wineries and do paint and sip parties. I went to people's homes. I did corporate events. And then when COVID, so I had about 2,000 followers on social media. And when COVID hit, you know, all of my customers are basically mothers and grandmothers, and they were all really concerned that there was not going to be any school. So, and you guys, I am not good in technology at all. So, well, I've gotten a little bit better. So I, you know, again, was really busy that week in March, and they were all like, oh my God, what am I going to do with my kids? There's no school, blah, blah, blah. So I made a post saying, do you guys want me to do some online art classes? 
and they shared it across social media. And it, I went from 2000 followers to 30,000 followers in two days. So my, not that I had any idea what I was going to do, but I did my first live art class on Facebook and YouTube on Monday, March 16th. Okay. And it was amazing and crazy at the same time, but I had no idea what I was doing. I was just teaching, but I was doing it right on the computer. Anyway, so that's where I started doing online classes. And you know what one of the questions was, what supplies was I using? They wanted a supply list. And I kept saying, you guys, it's a pandemic. Use whatever you have in the house. And I still, when I'm not doing a craft project, like if I'm doing an art class, I say, use whatever you have. I teach my lesson so you can use markers or crayons or colored pencils, paint, glue, um, whatever it is. You guys, you, I just tell, because a lot of people, not just kids, have tactile issues, right? So not everyone can paint or not everyone has access to paint or not everyone wants to paint. Painting is my passion. I love painting. I find it very relaxing, but not everybody does. So, but people, the moms kept asking me for supply lists. So I had a friend who was on Amazon and he helped me. I'm going to give a shout out to Jim Fuse for helping me. So he was like, oh, you have enough. So I went from 2,000 followers to 30,000 followers. And since I had 30,000 followers, I could go on Amazon and become an Amazon influencer. Although I like to say Amazon creator. I think that, you know, I feel like I'm an Amazon creator. I like I like to create stuff. So I was able to get on Amazon and tag all the products that I was using, which made it easy for me and all the people that were following me. So I could be like, here's a supply list. You can get it wherever you want to. Here are, here are the products on Amazon. And you guys, I get them on Amazon too, just because it's so easy. I'm waiting for a package today to do more cone crafting. And then I'm going to come on later. I'm also going to show you guys how to do the beach glass, which is really fun too. And this glue works great for, um, what I do with my beach? Here, this glue works great for beach glass and the stones. So you need something heavy duty. So that's my story. So I have been on Amazon cr crafting and painting and I'm going to finish the glue here and then I'm going to go on. I'm going to move on. Hopefully my package comes soon. I can see the driver. I can see my driveway. I'm in my bedroom, you guys. I'm on the second floor, so I look down right by my driveway, and I can see the Amazon when they show up. Then I go, you know, it's like, ah, oh, my package is here. I, it never gets old, does it? Those packages arriving, it never gets old. There's a little hole in here. And again, you guys wouldn't even see that if I left a little tiny hole right there. But again, this would be so fun to do with your family, your friends, your kids. Great keepsake, great tradition to start crafting with your family. These are all just like some fun different ideas. And again, you guys use, do I like to sew? Oh my gosh, Alice, you're asking me great questions. No, I don't sew. So you're the, the things that, um, the reason why, again, I, I'm a messy artist. I don't have the best fine motor control. Um, especially as I've gotten older, my hands are, my grandmother had, my grandmother did so. She tried to teach me how to crochet. And, but as I've gotten older, my hands get a little bit more stiff. So I do crafts that don't require a lot of fine, um, like sewing. So I don't sew and I don't bake. So I do want to show you guys, what else did I want to show you? I have a bunch of stuff that I have here. Oh, I forgot. Where did I do with that? I didn't open that either. Oh, here it is. Okay, let me show you this. Here's another one. So this is, um, woohoo, I'm so excited. I got this one yesterday too. I got a lot of my crafts for yesterday. So let me cut this one open. I got just another option. So I like bling for Christmas, okay? So this one came yesterday. Again, these are just some of the things I'm going to create for the cones. Okay, so look at that, it's double packaged, very nice. So this is an unveiling, right? So when I do this, it's like, you guys are learning just like me. I like to open stuff, sometimes I don't, sometimes I use it first like this. So I have to experiment with the glue first. I gotta make sure it works. I'm not gonna be up here doing a craft and then have it not stick. 
this is some good stuff. That really does work. All right, so this, all right, you guys, so these are sticky. I can feel it already. And sometimes when I use a product that is like pre-sticky, they do make rhinestones that are pre-sticky. I'm just not sure how long the stick is going to last. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my, can you guys see that? Oh, I forgot to shut my ringer off. I, you know what, Alice? I do have a painting of Santa Claus. I also have a YouTube channel, you guys. So I have a YouTube channel, Artist at Heart Paint Party. I am on Facebook, Artist at Heart Paint Party. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Amazon, Artist at Heart Live. Right now, we are streaming on Amazon, YouTube, and Facebook. So look at how pretty this is, okay? So I was thinking, hmm, should I do? Because again, this could just be the trim on the tree. I could just make trim on the tree like that, or I can cover the entire tree with this and just make it go all the way up. How pretty would that be? So the whole cone would be gold. Now this one is double-sided. So this, I'm sorry, not double-sided. It has sticky. See this? So it's sticky. Now. It's pretty sticky, so I'm thinking it's really going to stick. Again, I'll experiment with it and let you guys know. But it is sticky, and it has the tape on the back. So you pull the tape off, and then you stick it to it. I can make it a necklace, huh? No, it's a craft. So I could even add some bling to my buffalo plaid. But buffalo plaid is not, right? R buffalo plaid, the, it's more like homey. So I wouldn't probably add some blingy. See, it just wouldn't look right. So this is just more cozy and nice, a nice flannel fabric, blingy. So I think the blingy on blingy would be nice, or do you think it would be too much? Or just a whole gold coin. But again, I'm going to work on this in a little bit, and I will come back. I do have a Santa Claus painting. I do have it here. I'll I don't have it up here. I will show you a few of my paintings. Okay. So this mostly you guys, wait, let me, let me change my carousel. Let's see what I got in my carousel. So I, I, I'll put my hat on. Okay. So real quick and my hat's on Amazon too. This is, I'm wearing this all season. I got a new one this year. I love it because it's not hot. So especially because I'm doing paint parties and like right now I'm live Last year, the hat I had, I was sweating. I had to take it off. My head would get so hot. So this one is really breathable. It's super comfortable. I'm really, really sensitive. And this is smooth. It feels good on my skin. It feels good on my head. And it's large. This is definitely an adult hat. A man or a woman could wear this. I love it so much. And it's just warm. It is warm, but not hot. Look, I'm not sweating. And I have some hot flashes, you guys. Okay, so here's some of my Christmas paintings. So I'm doing this one next Saturday. We're doing a wreath. I always tell people you can customize it. So I teach it step by step. It's also in my video vault. So I have over 200 art videos on my website. Here's another one. I did this one. If you guys are following me yesterday, if you look on my page, you'll see the painting for this one with all the products that I use. This is black canvas. I love creating on black canvas. You guys could also, I didn't finish this one, but you could also do it in a sketchbook. I don't know. Again, look at yesterday's project. I'll finish this later, but I love working on black. So again, the Christmas tree one I'm doing at a local restaurant and a few, Next week, next Monday, as a matter of fact. So I, that's what I do. I'm a traveling art studio. I go to different places and we have fun and I teach people step by step. Most of the classes last about two hours. Um, and I have, let's see if I have any more paintings up here. I'll bring my Santa one up later. But again, this is what I do. And I've been teaching, I'm still in a certified art teacher. Here, I want to show you guys another idea you guys can do with wrapping your gifts. So, oh, here it is. Okay. Look at this. So you guys can get some brown craft paper, which I have here somewhere. <laughs> Hold on, I got to hide. Brown craft, here it is. Okay. So you guys get some brown craft paper. 
So I use this a lot, okay, brown craft paper. If you're crafting at home, I can use this and cover my tables with it. So if you're having your family over and you don't want to get your tablecloth dirty, roll this out and then craft on top of it. That's a great idea. And I just leave it out, okay? So I just leave the roll out, put everything on top of it, and then craft over and over. And when you're done with it, you can just recycle it. This is a great idea to do with craft paper too. You guys can wrap your gifts, put some twine around it, some ribbon, whatever you want, and then add maybe your favorite photo. Black and white photos are super cute to use too. And uh, you could also even write like your favorite memory with them. That's just a great idea. I have here this, I have to, it's in the glass and I, it's so old. I couldn't get it out of the glass. The photos kind of stuck to the glass. But that's me and my sisters and a creepy Santa. Can you guys see that? Oh, my God. Is that funny? Look at creepy Santa. He's so creepy. I don't think today you would put your kid, your baby on Santa's lap like that, right? Ew. All right. So um, anyway, my so I have a little sister. She's three years younger. And then my older sister, Deanne, she's four years older. And then we have creepy Santa. I'm the messy one with the long hair. So my mother tried so hard to always keep me neat and tidy. And she said within two minutes, I was messy and I'm still messy, you guys. <laughs> so I do my best, but I do a ton with brown wrapping paper. I always have it handy. I um, use it for a multiple of reasons. But again, if you guys want to use um, brown wrap for gifts, it looks really, really cute and again you could always add like a red bow or just some twine you can use just some twine or whatever it is that you have but I do use brown wrapping paper a lot you can even again when I had the kids in classroom I would roll it out and let them all create on it on the floor so that's another great way to use your uh brown wrap and you could also do it like for the holidays you could lay it out on the table and have everybody write you know um, a Christmas phrase or their favorite quote or scripture, right? So there's so many things you guys can do with that. <laughs> well, I love my sisters to death and we're all really, really close. So uh, I have, um, so Alice says, oh, I wish I had a sister. So it's, it's nice to have, we are close. All right, let me see what else I could talk about for a few more minutes. So I, in my cart, oh, I, I should tell you guys this too. Okay. <laughs> so I, I just threw the wrap on the floor. So one more time, let me show you the picture. Okay. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the brown wrap, right? You're going to need the brown wrap and some tape. Now I use, this is um, scotch tape and I also have double-sided scotch tape okay so these are just the two of my favorite tapes that i use easy to use if you look at the um, packages and the way they're wrapped you don't see the tape so it's probably the double-sided tape that they're using on the seam so again i would suggest either your um scotch the matte finish or the double-sided tape right so these are both really really good for crafting and I'll show you guys what I did. I showed this to you yesterday. Oh, here's something else that I do a lot just for fun. Okay. I did that. So if you guys look again, if you're following me on Amazon and you look, you're going to see all of my previous ones. So I did the Grinch a couple days ago just for fun. Oh, here's my, this was my Black Friday, but I still have it. You can go back and look at the gnome shirt and the hat. I told you I'm wearing this hat all season. So here's, again, I have videos of my favorite finds on Amazon. You can check that out. I'm usually showing my favorite art supplies. And here's just some of the, the things that we've created. We did that for Earth Day. We did trees. Those kids were from South Africa, live with me, right? You guys can lay out paper on the floor and watch my videos. Oh, look at the little baby. See, that's why I say for all ages and abilities, right? Just have fun. That's one of my favorite pictures. So you could have a whole family creating with me. I just love it. And I just think it's really, really fun and relaxing with any supplies, okay? With any supplies. Look at, this is little Brooklyn. Look at all of her projects that she's done with me. 
Okay, so again, we have all ages and abilities. I will tell you that usually um, the older ladies don't like to send pictures of themselves. It's usually send, they send the kids. That's why I have so many kids on here. But I have women from all over the country and I have all ages. So, and we use a variety of art supplies. So again, that's why, that's my website, artistsathurt.org. You can use any supplies that you want. I do a lot of painting just because I find it really relaxing. All right, you get the idea, right? Love point poinsettias. Oh, I just did this one. This is a really, really fun craft too. So that's a fun craft, you guys. You can do that. Again, I have, um, you can always email me too. Uh, that's one of my favorite crafts to do. And you can make Santa any color with any skin tone that you want to. Just, um, you add a cotton ball every single day. So what's today? So today is, is today the 6th? Whatever day is, you add a cotton ball every single day to Santa's beard until the 29th. And then, no, the 24th. The 24th is the last cotton ball that you add to it. So that, again, is like a fun craft. And so one more time, here's my blingy Christmas tree. I'm using this amazing gem tap glue. Let's see what else I could talk to you guys about before I sign off. All your, don't forget your batteries, you guys. All right, I have them around here somewhere. I have my whole pack of batteries around here somewhere. But I have been replacing a lot of things with batteries. I got them right here. Double A's. You guys go through double A's all the time? This is something you guys should always have. Double A's, okay? Double A's. Triple A's, too. So I, and I just dropped it all over the floor. But you're, you guys need batteries, okay? So I have these um, faux candles. I don't like to use real candles just because... One time I forgot to blow it out. And so I just used the little ones with batteries, but I had to replace them. So it's either a double A or a triple A, right? Like my remote. I There's nothing more annoying than having a remote that <laughs> the batteries run out and then I don't have any batteries. So just keep, especially this holiday season, flashlights, the weather, right? Keep plenty of batteries around your house for whatever is to come. Okay, let's see what else. And again, if you guys are looking for fun supplies, whether they're for yourself or for your kids or for a gift, love black canvas. That's what I've been doing a lot of, black canvas painting, right? So if you're using a heavy-bodied acrylic paint, it shows up great on black. You're not going to be able to use watercolor on black paint. And I don't use oil just because of the chemicals and it takes forever to dry and you need excellent um, ventilation. So I have been doing a lot on black canvas. I like the variety pack that gives you a bunch of different sizes. It's really fun to do with your family and friends. You guys can use um, any size and a heavy bodied acrylic paint. You can use a thinner acrylic paint, but you might have to add a few layers of it to cover the actual canvas. So again, this is a really, really nice product. And paint brushes. So I have, all right, hold on. I have, if you're looking for inexpensive, you're doing a family project, you don't want to invest a lot in them. These are really, really great. These um, US Supply, okay? They come with a variety of sizes. They're not, again, like they're not going to last forever. They're almost like a one and done. Not really. I just say that because it rhymes, but like a couple of these, these are really good. I'll put it in front of my sweater so you can see it. These are foam. So these are really good for like shellacking and creating collages. And then you have a variety of sizes. So these are really, really good. Again, for a couple time use, inexpensive. You get a lot of them. If you're going to do a craft with your family, that would be a great way to go. Oh, where's the craft for all? Hold on, let me see if I have that before I... Okay, so I was telling you guys, um, a heavy-bodied acrylic paint, like if you wanted to do the trees. So here's my trees, my crafts for all, that's upside down. These are awesome to do anything 
whether you're on white canvas or black canvas, Crafts for All is a great heavy body acrylic paint to use. So again, I'm just giving you guys a few ideas. So thanks so much. Yes, I know kids can do live streaming. <laughs> so I can barely do it. I think kids are better. Alice asked me if I think kids can do live streaming. So I, again, I kids are born with technology, okay? They are, I have to go to my niece and nephews all the time for help. When I told you guys I couldn't pull this off, I couldn't pull it off. I had no idea what I was doing. They helped me so much. So yes, I believe that the kids can do it. So I do, again, the 200 videos that I have, most of them were live and the kids were interacting with me. Now I do a lot of recordings because everyone's back in school and people have different schedules. And even the adults that I have to join me, people are going out and doing things, which I'm so happy about. So if I um, do like a live art class, I'm gonna do the live wreath art class. So many people don't join me live anymore because you know they're back in, out doing activities, which is wonderful. So now I, a lot of times I'll just record it and then upload it to my website. So definitely check out my website. And you guys, I'm just like, these are just a few recommendations. Um, I don't even think my, my electric sharpeners over there, but I think, you know, don't get something that they're going to outgrow in a year. Do something that you guys can do together, whether it's crafting or a, again, you can assemble a basket full of fun stuff um, that they like to do. So it's really fun. Thank you so much for following me. Uh, and when will I go live again? I will, so I'm thinking, again, I'm waiting for this package to come so I can share with you more fun stuff. I am doing a beach glass craft project in an office on Friday, and I have to do a beach glass tree and a beach glass wreath. Those are their two choices. Sometimes when I give them too many choices, they get confused. So I'm gonna make those samples using my supplies and I'm gonna do it with you guys. So I'm thinking I'll do it tonight. So I haven't scheduled it yet. If you guys follow me on Amazon, you'll get a notification of when I'm gonna go live again. You won't get too many uh, notifications because you know this is Amazon, it's a newer platform. You can also follow me again on social media if you want to. So yeah, those are the things I wanted to talk to you guys. There's so many more things I wanted to talk to you about, but um, get in the season. Okay. So I'm just, last time I'm showing you guys this, let me take it off. All right. Let's see how bad my hair looks. The other nice thing about it is if you're having a bad hair day, you just throw on the this, this stocking, the, the Santa hat. So it's lined. See that? And it's, but it's not heavy at all. So, and it has um, this rim that you can fold down and fold up. There is a tag on the back of it, but you can't even see it when you curl it up. And then I just put it on. It is super soft. Okay. And again, I have, I'm really sensitive. I had one last year and it made me sweat so bad. I had to get a new one. So I got this one this year. You guys, I have been wearing it now for a couple weeks. I wear it to my paint parties and, um, I like to wear it to not just paint parties and my craft parties, but I like to wear it with my family and friends when we all get together too, just because it gets me in the season. So I am going to get my stuff together. I will probably go live again later today, if not today, tomorrow. If you guys follow me, you'll see when I go live again. And um, actually, probably not tomorrow. I have two jobs tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to um, go live on Amazon tomorrow, but I will get go live again soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Denise. Let me show you one more time. See, I'm surprised I can even do this. Okay. There you go. That's my website, artsorheart.org. Give the gift of creativity, whatever it is. Okay. Just enjoy the season. And remember, it's not about the presence. It's about being kind to one another and sharing the love and the peace and the joy. And again, this is a very stressful time of the year. So just practice patience and be kind, right? And make art and be happy. That's it. And do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself. So again, I find, so Alice asked me, she said, how do I relax? You know, and I, so I create every single day and it could be a little bit, it could be doodling on a napkin. Okay. But I doodle, I draw, I craft and I paint and I do a little something every single day, even if it's just like this big, it could be a, 
a postage size stamp. And you guys, when you're creating, they don't have to be huge. Okay. You don't always have to create something large. It could be a poster. Uh, what do you call those things? Um, index card. So one of my customers makes me index cards and she mails them to me. So all the projects like this one, she'll make a post. Susan, I'm giving you a shout out. She makes postcards that are so beautiful and she puts a, a beautiful quote or scripture on there and then she mails it to me. I love getting them. It's like a little, uh, I wonder if I have one around here. Here, I'm going to show you. Um, all right, so this one's not on a postcard. So this is from Susan. It was I have it taped to my wall. Look at this. Can you guys see that? Hold on, I get the get the lighting. You make a difference. Look at that. How cute that is. Okay, how cute is that little baby? See, not everything has to be big. All right, hold on, one more. There's another little baby one, and she puts them inside her card that she makes. So. I just love that idea. So again, everything that I show you guys, you guys customize and make it your own, however that is, however you want. When you're crafting, you pick the supplies that you like. It could be fabric, napkin, wrapping paper, whatever it is. Just do something that you um, will find relaxing for you. Don't do it if it's going to stress you out, right? This is the time of the year where we need to do relaxing things. Breathe. Enjoy each other's company. Take time for yourself. All right. I am Denise with Artists at Heart. Thank you so much for watching me. I'll see you again real soon. And um, God bless all of you guys. Be safe. Bye, you guys.